about to hear is unedited except for a commercial break that was taken out. I got a phone call at the tail end of the show yesterday, and those of you who get both hours know what I'm referring to. Many of you did not hear that call. It is for you that I play the following. Again, parental discretion is advised. What's your situation, Rebecca? I want to get out. And I don't know what happened. I've been listening to all these people talking, and now I'm really confused. Okay, what, what, what are you involved in? Hating is when my mom and my dad killed my grandfather because they said it would give me power when I came of age. You killed your grandfather? Yes, and then I had to eat him. And I don't know what else to do. Can you really get out and live? Yeah, you really can. And I received a mark on Friday the 13th under my left breast of pentagram because I'm supposed to be at a ritual on the 31st. And I was going to give my life totally to Satan because I'll be 17 then. And even now they started preparing me for that day. And I want to get out and I'm scared. Lisa, you maybe want to say a word to her? Rebecca? What? You can get out, and there is hope for you. And they said they would kill me. There's hope for you. There's hope for you in Jesus Christ. No matter what they tell you, if they tell you you're Satan, that's not true. You can accept Jesus Christ, and you will have... I don't even know who he means. He wants to love you. What is the love that you're talking about? I don't understand. What love? Is he gonna have sex with me or something? No, it's not. It's not perverted love. I don't it's, understand. It is perfect love. It is God loving us so much. He sent His Son to die for us. Is Satan God? Satan is not God. I'm confused. When did they start this with you? What age? About a year and a half. I was always anointed with oils and rubbed down, and I would always be present whenever they were having their rituals. And then at age three, mm -hmm. I had this animal around me, and he was rubbing on me, and they made me, or the animal come inside of me. And they said I was bonded with the universe. And that animal would give me strength to carry out the things that I would need to know when I became of age. And then after it happened, they killed the animal and they poured his blood all over me. And then I just sat there and I kept asking why and they would never tell me why. They said that the blood covers and protects. That's all they would tell me. Well, Rebecca, that is the perversion of scriptural truth because it is the blood of Christ that covers and protects us and forgives us from all sin. You can help me. The first thing we can do is pray for you. Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt. Do, do I have to cut myself? You do not have to cut yourself. In the name of our Father in heaven and his Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we just pray right now for the peace and comfort of God to come upon Rebecca. We bind all the powers of darkness and I place the blood of Christ on Rebecca right now. You are bound. And Rebecca is being used. Rebecca is being loosed by the power of Jesus Christ. Don't worry, Rebecca. God is in control, don't you know? Who are you? Who are you? The keeper. The keeper? You are not the keeper. The guardian. You are not the guardian. Who am I? <laughs> you are subject to Jesus Christ. You who call yourself keeper, is Jesus Christ Lord? 
To whom does she belong? Right now, she belongs to my master. She will not continue to belong to him. We'll do everything we can to terminate her. You can't terminate her. I'm so sorry. You who call yourself the keeper, speak to me. In the name of the Christ, you speak to me. What is it? You will let her go. Why should I let her go? She belongs to me. Not forever. I was sent here to protect her, to guide her, and to lead her. Jesus Christ came here to die for her. She has not yet made that choice. She will make that choice. And you know very well it's a miracle that she called it's a miracle she called today, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Someone out there was praying for her. Well, that's your problem. How many more of you are there? How many keepers? How many more of your kind? There are hundreds. Well, the hold is being broken. No. Yes. No. Yes, and you know very well it is being broken. God did not have her call me by an accident, and God would not have thousands of people praying right now. And you know very well that your hold is being broken now. We will have her on our Hallow's Eve, Bob. No, you will not have her on your Hallow's Eve. You will not be ours And she will not be yours forever. She will belong to Jesus Christ. She, like David, will burn. He's Who's David? The David we were talking to a moment ago? <laughs> He's deceived. Is Satan defeated? Yes. Did Jesus Christ rise from the dead? Yes. Then you are defeated too. And your hour has come to an end. I have a right to be here. What is the right? She has not accepted your God. I find you to submerge and hold your tongue silent. Rebecca? What? Do you want love in your life? I'm scared of it. Did you want it? Yes. Do you want God? I don't know who he is. Do you want him? Do you want him if he is love? If it's true. Then say, say, I, Rebecca. Uh, keepers, stay out of the way. In Jesus' name, say, I, Rebecca. Want love. Uh, I want God. Uh, uh, Stay out of the way, keeper. Stay out of the way. I want, I want I want out. I want out. Say I put my trust. I put my trust. In God. In God. In, in God. Stay out of the way, keeper. God. And Jesus Christ. <laughs> Say and. And. Jesus. <laughs> Say Jesus. <laughs> Keeper, stay out of the way. Stay out of the way, Keeper. Jesus. Christ. Keeper, Keeper, you are bound. You stay right there, and I'm going to come back to you in a minute. I have to go away. Now, that, folks, was uh, the way the show ended yesterday. And another two hours followed, and I'm going to let you hear more of that in a moment. In the meantime, now, in the name of Christ, I ask those of you who are God-fearing people who know how to pray, to pray. We're not just dealing with the occult, we're dealing with murder, we're dealing with crime, and we're doing everything possible. Now, I want to assure all of you that this is being handled in the best possible way that it can, and I'll say more about that later. In the name of Christ, we call back to that phone whom God would have come back to that phone, whether it be Rebecca, whether it be her mother, whether it be one of the spirits. In the name of Christ, we call back to that phone who should come. <laughs> Rebecca? What? Listen to me carefully. My mommy says we have to go now. No, don't, don't. Your own mother has admitted it. No, my mama said she's trying to help me. 
She's not trying to help you. She's going to take you away where they can't find you and kill you. You are to be killed. Your mother has admitted it. Rebecca. She doesn't know what she's saying. She does know what she's saying. She is a Satanist, and she believes she will be doing good for the devil. You are the chosen one. They are the sacrifice. The pentagram. <laughs> Who interferes? Who interferes? Baphomet. Well, Baphomet. What are you doing here? You must be very frightened. The top dog wouldn't show up unless you were threatened. She is not yours. If she was yours, she never would have called yesterday. I cannot help what your God does. Oh, he God. Is more powerful, but we will hang on until the end. You cannot defeat our God. You cannot defeat our God, Baphomet. In the name of Christ, I call back to the phone whom God would have to come back to the phone. In the name of Christ. I'm well aware <laughs> of the highly unusual nature of what's happening. This is not even what I planned for this broadcast today. And I'm in the same spot the rest of you are in. Now I'm just going to mention briefly today. I've talked for several weeks about the importance of this broadcast and this ministry. By the way, I'm going to play you the rest of what happened after the show yesterday in a second, so hang on. You're going to hear things you've never heard before in your life. And what you heard a while ago was Baphomet, who's the number one demon in control of Rebecca's life, and the growling that you heard is a cat spirit. I know it sounds bizarre. I know it sounds like something out of a Stephen King novel. I know it sounds like, give me a break. You heard what you heard, okay? If you don't believe it, at least believe that evil people believe it. And they will only kill for it. So, most of you who listen to this program are not Christians. And many of you who are have different opinions about this type of thing. Now, I want to tell you something. What you're hearing is what's happening. I got... I got my staff sitting around me. In fact, I have a board of directors meeting of this uh, organization today. One of my board members, uh, members, a pastor from Canada, is sitting here in the studio with me. I mean, I'm not, nobody's flying flying everybody here all at once. If the police want to come walking in the studio right now, we've already talked with the local police about this this morning. We're praised of it. If they want to come walking here right now and observe what's happening, fine. This is not a Hollywood set. If by chance, Rebecca and Catherine, you heard, let me tell you, there is hope. And I want you to call me on the air at 1 800 821 Talk. Can we try to keep a 1 800 line open if possible? Where? What line? I may have to interrupt the commercial. I want to take a break. Pray we've got Rebecca back. I'll tell you what's going on right now. At this moment, Rebecca's mother is sitting in the car in a trance. Catherine? Please leave us alone. No, I will not leave you alone. Catherine, under no circumstances will I leave you alone. Not when you are going to murder your daughter. I will not leave you alone because I want you to have God's love in your life. I want you to know the promise of the You listen to me. It's too late for me. It is not too late. It is too late. That's a lie. That's a lie of Baphomet. That's a lie of Lucifer. It is not. If it's too late, why am I talking to you now? I have no idea. I can't get rid of you. You can't get rid of me. You aren't going to get rid of me because I won't let you go because God won't let you go. How would I know about... Oh, Boris and Marduk. Listen. And Floretta. No right. How would I know? Speak those names. Listen. Those are the names of demons which Jesus Christ has trod under his feet. Which Jesus Christ has defeated at the cross. I will Leave speak them. Leave us out of 
out of your little fairy tale land <laughs> will not have any part of it. You understand me? Who's giving you a fairy tale? You've got a black book with names of ancient spirits and relatives that have passed a curse That's down That's reality. If not, is killing your daughter on October 31st a reality? It is reality. It's murder. We must get rid of this evil. What you evil? You are evil. You're the one that's going to commit murder. You're the one that's going to kill your daughter. I will.